Hi folks, um, you are welcome to yet another um, test run for B Vibes um, on the B Vibes audio and video podcast. Well, it's quite dark here and I've not gotten my gears right, but um, yeah, you're welcome to B Vibes Music Entertainment here in Lucky Phase 1. And um, today was a great day. I hope yours was too. And I wish you and I pray for you that you have a blessed day ahead. Now, the day is not finished yet, so don't give up. Keep fighting. It's going to be yours for the taking. Now, quickly, I want to draw the attention of people to something I discovered on Facebook. My friend, actually, my friend on Facebook, who happens to be a brother, actually made a comment and mentioned me in a post. And I'm writing this particular one, All Christians Awake. Why am I titling it, titling it All Christians Are Weak? I'm doing that because I feel that every Christian should have, should have um, the notion that God is not some gambler. You know, Christianity has moved from what it were which was from a point of dominion up onto a point of fear mongering. You know, there's a whole lot of fear mongering now in Christendom where the best sermons come as a result of fear. Okay? The best sermons come as a result of fear. So, uh, people tend to respect your sermon if you can instill some fear in them and bring them to your message. But that is not what Jesus Christ would teach us. Now, um, that, on the other hand, I've digressed a little bit. Now, let me come to the subject of the day. Christianity is not gambling. Okay? Christianity is not gambling. Now, I'm calling your attention as Christians to one particular post made by a prominent church in Nigeria and by a pastor where he claimed he made a prayer request and God answered the prayers now he now translated that answer to prayer to his members saying things like god answer my prayer and so will you answer now i want us to be clear on this i am not trying to attack pastors i'm not trying to attack anyone. okay now um, this is the video i'm talking about i believe you all know pastor and how you all sorry let me pause for a while i'm going to play it Okay, and also share some comments made by some people. Now, that is, that is his post. Listen, God is not a gambler. That's one. Two, God didn't only create Christians to dominate. God created Christians to also use their brains. That was why he created every human being with a brain. Every human being has a brain. So, the place of common sense can never be lost. The place of reasoning can never be lost. That's why God created a brain. If not, God would have just made robots and removed, removed the thinking faculties. Not only that, removed the choice um, aspect of humanity. It will complete, completely obliterate it. So, when you listen to some of these pastors say some things, real of prayer points, say certain messages that are totally, some biblical but not Christian, while some are both not biblical and Christian, be careful. Now, I'm going to play this for you, and you're going to see exactly what I mean by Christians being brainwashed. Now, pay close attention to this. Something from my expectation for this prophecy to you. I have this is my own expectation. I will tell you what I would all just I want somebody who is all with me to come somebody to anybody in those places. My own expectation for anybody. I have come. Give them a microphone so they can read. Just one person, bring the microphone. 
see my own expectation for something. I used to prophesy to you, don't bother whether you, even if you don't like him, just agree. The file take it by force. So Now, now, that is laughable. You know why I said it's laughable? Because coming from an educated man with so much position, I would least expect him to use this as a spectacle. Not only, he could have just done it in church and okay, it could pass like every other service, but he actually posted it on Facebook. I'm not seeing when I talk, I don't talk without facts. Now, as you can see on the top of your screen, who, what name is that? I wouldn't call his name. That is his name. This is his official Facebook page. And he posted the video himself. It goes to show you that Christians in Nigeria, most of us, we don't think again. We don't think. You know what? Now, he has revealed that his prayers are answered, right? <laughs> which is laughable. Now, let us now listen to um, the reaction of the church and also what he goes on to say in this video. Uh, that was my sixth prayer request. Did he escape it? So it means whatever you return on your own. Immediately. I speak as a man sent by God. Oh. If God answered me for a man who is United States, oh. then I speak over your life and destiny. Oh. Whatever you have written down on that station form. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> let me not go. I see. Let me now. Let me be clear on something. I have prayed for certain things in my life and God has answered them. Those ones that were not the will of God, okay, um, common sense told me not to pray about them. Not only that, um, God did not answer some of those prayers, okay? Yeah, I've made some stupid decisions in my life before with regards, you know, sometimes we do this thing we call throwing fleas at God, you know? The era of the Old Testament is not the era we are in now. We have people throw, throw fleas at God. Like, Lord, if you can make the sun to rotate 15 degrees like Hezekiah did, or if you can make the sun stand still, if you, can, if you can show me a sign. Remember Jesus Christ said, people seek for a sign when they are not believers. But it only takes power to access the mind of God without necessarily seeking for a sign. All you require in this era of Christianity is what? Faith. Faith. Now, he has triggered his church with the whole other thing. Now, I don't want to, I, let me, you know what? Um, for a wider, con um, uh, uh, what's, what will I call it now? For a wider context, let me just go on. This same man, while I was walking on the streets of Port Harcourt, I went to a friend's studio and I was coming back, one of the branches in Port Harcourt. He made a prayer point and he said, for this reason, it just bounced in my ears. For this reason, you will have a job that you are not qualified for in Jesus' name. And the entire church shouted, Amen. I was like, this is the problem Nigeria is facing. What happens to the rest of us or to those people who will qualify for that job? I mean, take a good look at our roads. Take a good look at the electric, electricity system, the power system of Nigeria. It goes to show you exactly what the problem of Nigeria is. When a pastor will say, you will get a job you're not qualified for. My brother, my sister, from Genesis to Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation, before God uses a man, he trains the man. There is a process. He prepares the man from Genesis to Revelation. Although some people will preach it that 
Yes, God qualifies the unqualified. I'll use those terms that are not biblical. God, um, what, 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 what's this unbiblical term they use again? God qualifies the, the what? The unqualified and God um, anoints the whatever, whatever. Listen, 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 listen. God is not, God is not a Naira bet person. God is not in charge of Naira bet or MMM. Okay, God is not a gabbler. Our God is the same yes, today, today, and forevermore. Not only that, he is here and amen. God is not the kind of God we want to treat the same way most of these pastors are gradually degenerating the relationship with God too. Now, let me tell you exactly why I am saying this thing I'm saying against this. I'm taking a stand against this one. I'm not saying everything he says is wrong, Okay. I'm not saying everything this man preaches is wrong. Get me right. I'm, what I'm saying here is that you don't go about things that are basically common sense things with spiritual, spiritualizing everything that has to do with common sense. That is why God has given you a brain. Now listen, listen, listen further. It's not Trump now, it's the, the thing he answered. Can you listen I'm to this? I'm not going to this. But I didn't want the man to be disgraced at that level. But I would have been past Christianity. You get what I'm saying now? At least we agree on something. At least he have his weakness. We, at least we agree on something. We agree on something that, you know, Donald Trump has been one of the major um, fighters for Christians. Well, at least we, yeah, we agree on that. I mean, it's common sense. Okay? But, but to... To go and claim that your prayer was <laughs> was answered for Donald Trump, I will tell you in a brief moment why I feel this is just another waste of your precious time. This is another waste of the precious time of those people who are so gullible to believe everything this pastor say. Why not just why not go and study your Bible? Why not go and act like the Berians? You know, I've been keeping quiet all this while. I said, no, I want to add to the narrative of a group of fresh leaders in Nigeria who will take decisions and stand by it and not just depend on one miracle somewhere to happen. Okay? That's why I am stressing on this fact. God is not a gambler. Okay, let's get that straight. We are not, we are gambling with things. This is gambling. We're gambling with things. Let's go on. Grace, you to your happiness. But you must not be embarrassed. That's what grace is all about. I said, grace covers your errors. Now, this God who gave a speedy answer will answer you likewise in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health as your soul prospereth. Okay? As your soul prospereth. As your soul prospereth. Remember, remember, the soul, the soul is most important to God. The soul is most important to God. And when you're talking about the prosperity of your soul, you're talking about saved, being saved by grace, salvation. So the emphasis are on just fleshly and material um, prosperity, and we are taking out the idea of the prosperity of the soul. So it's about what you ask God, it will give you. Ask, 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 ask. God, give, 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 give. Nobody is even saying, God, take, 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 take. Take how? God gave us one commission. Go ye, okay? Now I'm digressing. 
Now, let me go back to this whole Donald Trump issue. In the name of Jesus! Oh! I repeat! Oh! That you said God do for me! You will get the answers now in the name of Jesus! You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Let's just stop here. It's okay. You know? It's okay. I have I believed in all these things for years and my life went from zero to minus ten. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will tell you that. I believed in all these things for years and my life went from zero to minus ten. An emphatic minus ten. Okay? Now, let me take you to the comment I made in his post. I made a comment in his post and I would like to take you there and you will see my post, you know, after, after my friend, okay, let me hide his name. My friend just mentioned my name. He didn't say anything, okay? He just mentioned my name because he knows anything that you talk about Donald Trump, okay, gets my attention a little bit. And he did, he did get my attention. Now, this was my comment. One, I do not need a prophet to tell me how much the Democrats hate Donald Trump. That's number one. Number two, as you can read, the House of Reps had the Democrat majority. That was why they carried out the first ever partisan impeachment without a stated, a defined, a stated crime, high crime, or misdemeanor, which was what the founding father stated in the law of the land, the greatest law of the land, which is the constitution that a president could be impeached upon. Now, Number three, the Senate House has a Republican majority, which also means that Donald Trump will be acquitted and not removed from office. Again, in a partisan fashion, except Mitt Romney, who snitched, of course, we know Mitt Romney had that vote on one of the articles of impeachment that Donald Trump should be removed from office, okay? Now, he was the only Republican who went over on the other side on just one article of impeachment. And he didn't bother because, of course, um, they didn't get the two-third majority of the House of Senate. So do I, need, do I need a prayer point to tell me that this is what is going to happen? Haven't I been following Donald Trump on all this? Now, I said what? He should pray... Now, number four, before we go down, number four, this, his prayer point and point of reference to Donald Trump is just to tout his so-called answered prayers to his ignorant followers. I'm sorry, I have friends who attend that church, okay? Now, I don't believe everything that every pastor says. When he says, like the Berians, I go back to my Bible and read and be sure so that I will have a stand with God. Because when Jesus Christ appears, my pastor will not stand for me. The reverend will not stand for you. Your bishop will not stand for you. You will stand for yourself. So go and give account of yourself. That's why the Bible says, study to show yourself or show yourself approved. The Bible says, study to show who? Yourself approved. A workman. Worthy. Worthy. Okay? Not someone else. You. You. Now, I said these things, and these things I've said, some might be a little bit radical, but trust me, I, I get radical with some of these things now. He should pray for Leah Sharibu, who is still in the net of what? Boko Haram. He should pray for God, if he is a prophet, why not pray for God to remove Buhari forcefully, if you are really, really a pro-Christian um, Donald Trump kind of pastor? Why not pray? And let us see if God will answer that prayer. Okay? Now, neither do I pray such. <laughs> the reason Buhari is there is because somehow the universe accepts that he should be the president of Nigeria. Well, let's see how that turns out. Now, we should also pray for Nigeria to er eradicate unemployment. Nigeria is slipping gradually into one of the most poorest countries on the, the face of the earth. He should pray that Nigeria should eradicate unemployment. If not totally, he should minimize the rate of unemployment among the youths. Now, he should also pray for Nigeria to eradicate a government and make sure that the government is not pro-terrorism. 
you know, then I go on to say, I've had enough of this spiritual empty pastors choosing mediocrity over common sense. Now, that is me and my stance with, you see, don't just come to me with anything, okay? Come to me with something concrete and solid. Listen, I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Now, see what people are saying, I receive it, amen, I receive it, I receive it, I receive it, I receive it. Um, someone said you one, one thing declared this you see people people don't read people don't use their common sense now um, now look at one comment here sir I imagine if you channel that prayer point to to the Abuhari not my Buhari to the Abuhari for impeachment won't be uh, uh, won't that be more needful than uh, you can read for yourself okay now for you to know that Nigerians are waking up okay now um, of course people will go on to say what they want to say they will still carry on with what they want to say. And um, let me see. I, I read one particular one that gave me chills. It gave me chills. Um, yeah. Um, please leave that in. Um, okay, see this one. I say amen to your prayer, sir. But honestly, your reference to Donald Trump victory in the Senate is rather childish. It is a vague claim to say that Donald Trump victory was a result of your prayers. And to make matters worse, your entire prayer kept revolving around it. You even forgot to testify whether or not your first five prayers were answered. You know, guys, thank God people are waking up. Okay? People are waking up. At least if this fraction of people waking up, it's enough for me. Now, this one was outrightly my kind of guy. This um, Chike Loba, Chike Madu, in his post also said, <laughs> God can answer our prayers. Okay? God can answer our prayers on Donald Trump, but can't answer our prayers on Chibo girls, continual husband attack, Christian persecution in Nigeria, etc. Christians in Nigeria should stop fooling themselves. Okay, he now goes on to say some things that I don't want to read. Um, um, Trump has been in Yes, but he cannot be removed from office. Why? It doesn't require a miracle. It's simple. His party has a majority in the Senate. You know what? At this point, I will just round off by saying, guys, guys, it is time for us to open our eyes. If you doubt me, if you doubt me, okay, um, let me hide this split. I don't know what this split is doing. Now, look at that. That's my Bible. Okay? This is my Bible. Hmm? This is my own manual. When I hear stuff from my lecturers, in quotes, my preachers, my pastors, I come back to this book here for reference and for clarification. Okay? The Bible was written for clarification, direction, correction. So many things was this Bible written for. So nobody has a fountain of knowledge when it, record, when it comes to this Bible. Even the very people who introduced me to Christianity may have gotten it wrong. Okay? Not that I, not, not that I say I, I, I don't thank God for their life. I thank God for their lives. But this Bible is necessary for you. Good. So go back to your Bible. Read your Bible. And awake from this dark Part that the Christianity in Nigeria is sliding into. We are losing common sense to vain sermons and prayer points. It is about time we stop this fear-mongering pattern of Christianity and start to apply dominion. 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 Stop this unnecessary prayer point that will make you go to sleep when you should actually be working your ass off. Okay? Now, um, on that point, I said... Until I meet you in the next video, uh, my podcasts are coming soon. I want you to stay tuned and remain blessed. Remember, be vibes. Say, be the change that you want to be and be the change that you want Nigeria to be. God bless you real good.